The World Health Organization, WHO, has declared a new coronavirus variant and named it Omicron. Omicron joins the Delta variant on the current WHO list of variants of concern, the highest alert category for emerging coronavirus variants. Contrary to scientific predictions, the Omicron variant has emerged from the mid-2020 strain and not from the Delta variant. What makes the Omicron variant different is the staggering number of mutations it has acquired. Preliminary genetic analysis shows that it has twice the number of mutations as the Delta variant, the world's most dominant variant so far. Omicron has a total of about 30 mutations on its spike protein, which is the structure the coronavirus uses to gain entry into the human cells. Most of these mutations are found in areas which have previously been linked to increases in immune evasion and viral transmission. For example, the N501Y mutation appears to increase the ability of the virus to enter cells, which makes it more transmissible. While mutation E484A is associated with helping the virus evade detection by our antibodies. It is important to remember that most of these mutations are actually found on the receptor binding domain of the spike protein. This is the very same place where the antibodies generated by the vaccines attached to. Effectively, the 30 mutations discovered in the Omicron variant will change the shape of the spike protein, making it harder to detect by the immune response which the vaccines have induced. Current vaccines have been designed to target the spike protein from the original Wuhan strain. Some of the mutations in this new variant may mean that the virus can spread easily or make the vaccines less effective. However, jabs still provide protection against other variants of concern and can be tweaked if needed. It is highly unlikely the vaccines will not have any effects, but there might be a reduction in the protection they provide, caused by mutations in the spike protein. The mutations also mean that the new variant is likely to be more resistant to antibody treatments, which have been shown to save lives. To date, there are no signs that the variant causes more severe disease, although WHO findings have shown that there may be an increased risk of reinfection with Omicron. This means people who have previously had COVID-19 could become reinfected more easily with Omicron, as compared to other variants of concern.